So this is my Lockhart Tactical Raven and today I'm going to talk about the brass deflector and the new dust cover that just came out and then just some of the nuances and just do the installation so you guys know how to do it yourself. Uh, so there are just two things that I need to address before I really need to get into the installation. For a long time I recommended that people get the brass deflector off of um, off of other sites there that 3D print these because it is a bit cheaper. But since this is a 3D plastic, um, these dust covers will not work with these brass deflectors. Um, so the original brass deflector that comes right from the factory, it's steel and it has a detent in it. So it'll actually work with this dust cover and these ones don't. And I mean, even if you put a hole in it or something like that, eventually it will wear out. So you got to kind of bite the bullet and get the brass deflector if you want to use the, if you want to use the dust cover. And the other thing that I need to address is this would be the first time that I've ever been sent something and I've been sent this dust cover. And I just thought I'd be full and transparent about that. But anyway, I'll get you guys in closer and we'll do the installation. So now I have you in for a closer view. I'm going to explain how this dust cover and brass deflector work together. So the dust cover actually clips into the bottom of this brass deflector via this rod. And this ball detent uh, just rubs basically on the side of the brass deflector. And that's how it holds it closed is just friction with that ball detent. And again, that's why you can't really use the plastic one because over time this will flatten out this plastic and then your dust cover will just constantly stay open then what's really the point of the dust cover so i'll get into the installation because it's fairly straightforward so when you're ready for installation i'll show you what to do and what all the components are so this is your actual dust cover this is what's going to be covering the dust uh, this is going to be your davit arm and then this is what's going to hold it onto your 1913 rail up here and then this is just a midsection that attaches and then you're going to get two springs here. Uh, the reason that you have two springs is there's one step in here where you have to uh, torque these springs and since they're pretty small uh, you can break them if you torque them too much but I'll go into that when I am actually ready. So what I do is get the dust cover into the proper position that it's going to go in. Uh, this big block here is going to go in towards the uh, in towards the bolt and this ball detent is going to go towards the brass brass deflector and what I do is I put this spring on and you can see the long portion of the spring and that's going to go behind the dust cover just like that and on your davit arm I'm going to call it there's a big hole and a small hole that small hole above it you put the spring inside so you put your guide rod in and then you put your spring in just like that and then honestly it's almost ready for installation so this is the part where you're torsioning it where you can mess it up so they say go counterclockwise one rotation that's all you need this is a brass this is a dust cover not really super high pressure you don't need it you know you don't need super tension on it just one rotation is good once you have it in this position just hold the tension and then slide it into your brass deflector and line it up with the Picatinny section. And since it's already held in in the brass deflector, you can just let it go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the midsection and your other side of the Picatinny rail, and then you're going to slide it, slide it in like that. Uh, fairly straightforward, but this might be a bit, uh, a bit tricky. Um, at least for me, I'm just going to start at 90 at 90 degrees and then I'll show you the rest of the way because it is kind of hard uh, just because I have a camera in my way. All right. That's all there is to it. So when it, once that is tight, what you're going to do is you're going to close your bolt and you're going to try out your um, 
your desk cover. If it barely latches like that, what you're going to do is you're going to move this back. And the way that you can test it is you can close your dust cover and you can shake the bejesus out of the gun. If your dust cover opens, what you do is you just loosen off the Picatinny section and you just move this back. Um, if you have it where you pull your charging handle and you can barely get it open and it doesn't want to kick open, what you can do is just move it forward slightly because the way that you tension this is actually, uh, it's just this ball detent. And again, the way that you control the uh, tension that's on that ball detent is just the position that it's in on the Picatinny rail. Um, so honestly, like, what are my thoughts on, on this? I think, you know, being sent it aside, I think considering the workaround uh, when it comes to what this is trying to be, I think this is fantastic. Like, this is a super, super clever idea and it actually functions and it actually works. And I mean, I think, uh, I think that this is again, just, uh, just a thought in the right direction. And I mean, there are other things coming like the, uh, the latch charging handle, which is fantastic. That was one of my complaints on it. Uh, there's a, another upper that's coming with a forward assist, and I think that's fantastic. Keep innovating, keep doing better. Uh, but so far, I am impressed by you know the aftermarket. I'm impressed by the customer service so far, and honestly, I'm just impressed by the gun itself. I think so far this has been a pretty damn good platform, uh, considering some of some of the small uh minor issues that i had with it overall this is probably the best canadian gun that i've ever owned so let me know if that installation video helped um thank you for watching and have a good day